the Knight Cody F1. It's got uh, three positions on a slide into switch. First position is low power, second position mid power, third position high power. It takes one 18650 battery and we're going to give it a bit of a whirl. In this lovely slate mine today. Well, I've come out today to explore a slate mine and I've brought along with me this Nightcore EF1. Now, it's Nightcore's explosion proof uh, torch and they call it explosion proof because you can use it around uh, petrochemicals or you can use it around uh, inflammable gases in relative safety. Uh, it's called the EF1 and it's a, it's a nice torch. Anyway, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the torch. It's got three power settings you have one two and three and they're on a slider switch as you can see that there now i've been using this for a couple of hours whilst we've been out today and what i really like about this is that when it's on a lanyard and it's around your wrist these sliders fall right where your thumb is so you can move it along like that and it's easy to move so you've got your three power settings lowest power setting which it will work on all day at that level it's very very low power mid power and full power now this torch runs on 118650 battery now if i take the the back off you can have a little look there's the battery inside there you can see but also notice how thick the body of the torch is now it's that thick because it's part and parcel of it being explosion proof and you can see the gaskets uh, and there's plenty of thread on this as well so it's it's really well sealed um, now if you look at the front end of it the LED see how deep the reflector is now what it does is it's not just got a really nice beam a throwy beam it's quite floody as well and looking at the front of there if you look around the front of the the lens you can see it's sealed with something whether it's silicone or another um, seal I'm not sure but that's all part and parcel of it being explosion proof uh, I'm quite happy with the torch the knurling is nice it feels weighty uh, it's it's obviously a quality bit of kit I'm not sure what these two screws are at the side there um, but I wouldn't hazard taking them out I would only imagine it might take the you know the head of the torch off uh, this passageway here, uh, I've measured it out about 45 paces, which I think is probably about 40 meters. So I'll do a few beam shots and you can see uh, just how the, the, the thing lights the uh, tunnel up ahead. So on its first setting, it's very, very low power. It's ideal if you're just having a little walk around. Um, and then the second setting on the slider, mid power. So you can see, if you look down there, that's mid power, which is quite, you know, quite reasonable. And if we go on to the third setting, full power. Off, lowest setting, mid setting, and full setting. 